All right, my good people. Here I have my 52 inch X Mark Laser Z E Series Hydro Mower. The wheels and everything is cut off hydraulics, it's not belt driven. I put a set of the base, the regular uh, side chute right here. We got a, the Docker OCDC. So you can adjust it with three different levels. One second, y'all. Let me back out. How that work? Y'all see how that is? So we got a nice shoot on there. This machine, for only being like a 2018, only currently has 150 hours. Not even 200 hours. And I bought this back in 2018. Basically brand new. <coughs> like I said, it's an E-Series. Xmark, Laser Z. Got to adjust the weight for the seat right here. To change the weight settings. You know, when you're sitting down on it and whatnot. Uh, I just recently, and I'll show y'all in the video, I just recently changed the oil, oil filter, put new blades on, and a new air filter. New battery too, the battery's been changed since then. And, uh, yeah, man, this machine ain't hurt. I, I don't really do a lot of cutting no more, so if anybody needs a good mower, or a landscaper, or somebody that cuts a lot of yards and needs a good commercial mower, reach out to me. I'll even sit down, it's getting ready to rain, as you see it's wet. Now I'll let you hear the deck. <clears throat> oh, just cut off. So as you see, like I said, I just replaced the... Um, Blades and everything. These are old ones I took off right here. I'm probably keep them and get them sharpened. It's all the old ones. And I know these are just the regular mulching ones. I ended up putting the gator blades on them. So they got three gator blades on it currently. Like I said, um, I don't do a lot of cutting no more. This is a commercial more. The wheels is fed off hydraulic. It's not belt driven. Has a Kawasaki engine on it out of Kohler. Most people prefer the Kawasaki, as you see. And I'll even uh, let you guys know in the video what the selling price is. I'll put it towards the end. My price will be firm. If anybody's looking for a good mower that does landscaping or just any type of work and they need a good commercial mower, I'll let you boy. All right. Oh, and like I said, even though I bought it in 2018, low hours, where you gonna find a uh, zero turn this age when I bought it with this type of hours on it because I wasn't cutting every day X amount of yards. I might have had like 20 residential homes I was maintaining while I was still working a full time job. And I've been doing lawn care since I was like 14 years old, but I stopped right before uh, COVID hit in 2020. So, really, I've just been using it, keeping the maintenance up on it just to cut around the house here and uh, all out front and everything. And I'll show y'all some of the work on that in the video too. This is the pulley system right here. I just raised it up so y'all can see it. The belt's not worn out. Nice and tight, good tension on them. Pulleys. Yep. It's the only part of the belt driven. But like I said, everything else. Got the little wheels right here so you don't scape, you don't be scoping the ground as much. It's not just a regular fixed deck. Got those little wheels right there. Still got good tread up on the tires. Good tread up on the tires. Like I said, these are fed with hydraulics, not running off belt. Yeah, you can turn it. Okay. There you go.
Just out here cleaning up my, my lawnmower or something. I already took off my old blades right there. I'll probably keep them having resharpened. Got to open a little jack stand right here holding it in place. Got me an extra stand here just in case. And got these little wheel ramps. Got the wheels chopped right here in the back. But I'm just really, like I said, I got my new blades right here. For this machine, these are new ones. Got the old ones out. And I'm really just taking this little, this little trial right here. And what you got, sometimes, like I don't really cut a lot of wet grass, but you want to try to clear out underneath your duck. Like a lot of that, sometimes a little clumped up stuff right here. I don't really have a whole, whole lot. Like all this stuff is stuck around the spindle. Just want to clear that out because I don't really cut a lot of wet grass. I'm just clearing that out. Then I'm going to put my new, um, and the jack holding in place for safety. Wheels, trunk, and just in case this was to ever fail, I got that block of wood to catch it so it wouldn't crash. Yep, that's what I'm doing. Oh, this is like a little separate between me and the neighbor's joint, so I just cut a little fresh strip. Got the front yard looking pretty. Edged up nice and uniform. Got the business sign down there promoter. But yeah. My neighbor's y'all got his shit looking beautiful. He cut his shit in diagonal. Yeah, man. You don't lose skills, man. You don't lose no skills for real, man. All right. I see how all that old dead grass coming off. You want to definitely always get all that stuff up off around your spindles. A scrape, you allow yourself stuff still caked up, especially right here on this. It's a lot of not bad if this one is in my two trying to see how I look. See how I gotta get shit like this off. You want to always get that type shit off because if you don't, it can mess up the airflow. Everything this shit cut your overall cut with one of these middle already. See how it's facing up. Got the cutting edge up, the cutting edge right here. Got to be up. And I always hand tighten them first. Always hand tighten these joints first. Just finished hand tighten this one right here. You see how it's flush? Ain't really no gap. Turn. I gotta take my ratchet and get ready. To finish tighten the bolts back up. I got the middle one on. Gotta fix that last one there and finish going up because you don't want that little gap. Gotta finish that one with these, like that. Because they turn, they good. I added my extra jack here for extra protection. With that one, with that jack stand, and I added this extra hydraulic jack here just to hold it up. <laughs> Still got my wood. Pause, no ditty. Done deal, y'all. Three new blades installed and tightened. All put back on. Now I'm gonna go work on this uh, oil now. All right, y'all, starting to get dark on me. Just went and put my tools up, set the ramps to the side, put the wood, all that, little trial. Got the zero turn sitting back on level ground. This is what we got right here, two quarts, 10W30 motor oil, oil filter, two and a half quart even though, so I got a little extra. I'm gonna use that, and this is where your oil comes out right here. Got it. Put like an adjustable wrench right here to hold it. Put adjustable wrench right here to hold it. Then use a that uh, wrench right here, 11 16th, to crack this open. And then the oil start coming out and drain. Babe, got that joint draining that oil, babe. You hear me, babe? Mechanic J on the scene, babe. Two wrenches. Couldn't use them, damn. Adjustable pliers. It kept sliver. Two wrenches instead, Might babe. Screw right there, babe. Yeah, that job like I hold down on it because I just try to let it, let it be. It don't want to fuck with me, so I'm gonna have to really hold this and let it drain out, type shit. Damn, it's gonna take a minute. Should have got me a little seat. You hear me? 
But that's it, y'all. I'm just giving y'all a little update, showing y'all how to do. Then the old filter right here, I take off next. All the old drain. I just put this right here. I tighten the cap back on. Right down there. All the old oil right here. I'm loosening up the oil filter now. Shit, it's gonna make a little mess. It's gonna make a little mess. Puddle. Need to put my damn glove back on. Okay. I ain't about to hold you. Put my glove back on. Oh, uh, still draining. I just get a little paper towel, wipe that little baby shit off of there. I see how this new one is dry. It's the old one. Just come here. You know what I'm saying? Really, I can get a little bit of this right here. Man. Keep that seal nice and moist. Just get a little bit of that. Just wipe around the old, the new cell, man. Wanted to always be lubricated. Still an old babe. Ain't gonna hurt now. Go ahead. Make sure it's going on straight. And tighten it back up. You don't need an old wrench all the time. Cause you over tighten the bitch. It'll be hard to get off. You could just Tighten it up real hard by hand, just so you know that seal is made tight. Just finish. Or you can use a pair of pliers and take it off. I already put, put two on. coats in here, and I just wiped the dipstick off already. So we about to check and see what the level looking like now. Uh, uh, one second. Okay. Oh yeah. She full. She definitely full. Okay. Wipe this. Show. Uh, good to go. I can say no leaks. That fell on the ground earlier from me moving my hand, but no leaks. Wiping the access off. We good to go. We good to what go. New one looking like. Fresh out of the box. It's the old one. No one old. Well, hey, this one not even that bad for real. Okay, but. Already paid for it. We did everything else fresh. I'm just gonna go ahead and get the fresh one on my for real, like I say. Hey man, say man, y'all already know who it is. Pull up like money, get money. We ain't never slumming on God.